What if your eating problems aren't really about food? Most people think that their problems are about what they eat, how much they eat, when they eat, and for sure that is partially true. But I'd like you to think, what if your eating problems were about more than food? Yes, they're about food, but what if they're about the rest of your life, which could be working a lot better? And if it were working better, you wouldn't be turning to food as much. Troubled eaters will remain troubled eaters unless they fix the rest of their lives. Outsmarting Overeating is a book that is about improving your life skills so your eating gets better. It makes sense. When you can cope and negotiate life better, you're going to have less stress and manage it better, and you're not going to have to turn to food. Outsmarting Overeating is different from my other books because the rest of them don't deal per se with skill sets. This is actual skill building. I mean, you learn how to use a computer, that's a skill. You learn how to hit a softball, that's a skill. And we often don't think about the things that uh, life requires of us as skills, but they're learnable at any age. I write about the life skills that I think most impact trouble eaters. Building and maintaining relationships, emotional management, self-regulation, knowing when enough is enough, not doing too much or too little. Balancing work and play. For so many people, they work so hard and they're such perfectionists that food is the kind of way to play and make a mess and go unconscious. Other skills are problem solving and critical thinking. We really can't get through life if we just do things because we feel a certain way. We want to be able to think about the, out, the options and the outcome. Um, Self-care is another skill, and that includes physical wellness and taking care of mind and body. There's a lot to gain by being comfortable with food and having a positive relationship with it and your body. I mean, for any troubled eater, this becomes the center of your life. You may get a promotion at work. It doesn't matter because you gained five pounds. You might be um, getting married and are really excited, but you're feeling awful about how you're going to look on your wedding day. So. When the problem of eating is reduced and you're comfortable with food, look at all the energy you're going to have for the rest of your life. Creative, professionally, socially, personally. It, when you close the door on eating problems, it really opens the door to the wonderment of the rest of your life. For the first half of my life, I had eating issues. I also always loved to write, and it just was natural to me after becoming a therapist and learning so much. It's been my mission in life now to teach other people what I learned and to really help troubled eaters become normal eaters. I'm excited about outsmarting overeating because there's no book on the market like it. Most books that are written about food and weight and eating deal specifically with that narrow subject. When really, after 30 years of doing this work, I know, and many eating disorder experts like me know, that it's about the rest of your life as well. So if you get the rest of your life going well, eating becomes a lot better and a lot easier and it's easier to become a normal eater.